Welcome to the latest episode of Pick and Pop. We talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules. Hey. Woo, Lego. Now, in today's society, a lot of times we have a lot of distractions when we're driving, but I'm not sure if any of us have had distractions quite like this. Dr. Justin Camo took this cell phone video while driving home Saturday night just to confirm what he thought he saw. <laughs> What does he mean confirm? Like he drove back around and took a video? We are blurring it because it is not family friendly. You think? I, duh, it's not family friendly. We know why you blurring it. And, and, and watch this guy try to demonstrate the scene in the most PG manner possible. Um, saw two girls, you know, you know, lesbian porn. Assume someone hacked it right away. Greg Gray lives a long ice. What's up with your boy's outfit right here, okay? We're in Auburn Hills, Michigan, and your boy looks like he's about to go to Luau in Hawaii. He's ready for a vacation. You kind of see people will start to break a lot behind me because I think they were doing the same thing, like a double take. You don't see that every day. No, no, no. It is not something you see every day. <laughs> Her Yo. facial expressions are the best. <laughs> Where did you find this lady? <laughs> no, 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 no. It is not something you see every day. Wait, but what would happen if this happened in L.A.? Because it's already dangerous driving in L.A. Like, can you imagine if there if this billboard was somewhere off the, like, 101 or the 405? I mean, that's what I think is funny, though. Like, porn is free. Like, it's not hard to find porn. So the fact that people have this kind of reaction, it just tells you, like, sex sells no matter what. Like, people have access to porn. I think it's just more like the fact that you're just not used to seeing porn on an actual digital billboard. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. presents. Now, we've all experienced layovers at airports, and we wish there was something we could do. We wish there was something more entertaining, some games. But I don't think we've ever had entertainment quite like this. Man, y'all got this catering car just doing donuts, and it's ghost around the whip while doing donuts. How is that possible? Is it like, like, like the, the gas got stuck? What's going on here? Wait, what is in there? That, that, that's all the food for the flight. <laughs> And it's, just, and, it's just, and it's just doing donuts. Is somebody driving it? No, no one's in it. Nobody's in there? No one's in it. <laughs> it's a self-driving catering. Yeah, no, I, th I think the gas got stuck and it's just doing circles. <laughs> That's a lot of wasted food. I don't know. I wonder if anyone's going to go grab the food, though. The oh, the free food. <laughs> oh, it's damaged now. Let me. That, that's lunch, homie. That's lunch. <laughs> like a pinata. Yo, <laughs> catering cart pinata. Hey. I hit the airplane. Here it goes. They're, they're, they're like cheering this on. He's like, hit the airplane. Here it goes. Boom. There we go. That's how you do it. That was like Madden's greatest hits. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm watching some kind of fight i don't know no that's what's like like all like, like <laughs> the, the best part of this video are all the comments where the people are like oh my god there it goes oh god i'm got like, like we're watching some stuff a football game at an airport that's how you know these cats are bored okay no matter all the wi-fi you got all the games it's 2019 we got technology galore and this is what's entertaining you but but to me like there got to be better ways to stop this vehicle <laughs> like then then just to just demolish it Wait, but does somebody drive the car usually or like... Yeah, yeah. I think someone drives it. So did they just hop out the car? What, what happened? <laughs> that, that, Where'd they I, go? That's a great point. Now, we all know that dog is man's best friend, but sometimes you never know how much we value a dog's life until it escapes into some camel area. And the only way to make sure that your dog escapes the clutches of the camel is to bite on the camel's testicles. Uh, this stone camel in their real parish. And I'm sure this is the only camel that ever been bitten by a human on his testicle. <laughs> How do you know that, sir? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. what is, I'm pretty sure it's the only camel that's ever been bitten. Yo, he sounded a little too proud and excited to deliver that news. <laughs> He's like, that's the only camel ever built past that has been bitten uh, <laughs> on his testicles. <laughs> Like, bro, where they find you from? Like, you got Foghorn Leghorn in Louisiana? <laughs> What's Foghorn Leghorn? Uh, the one, it's a, it's a large rooster chicken from Looney Tunes. It's like, <laughs> I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, boy. <laughs> He's the only camel in Iberville Parish. Manager Pamela Bose says each week she sees hundreds of visitors who stop by the Tiger truck stop along I-10 to see him. Wait, I want to know if they charge people to see this camel. <laughs> 
Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. People stop stop at this gas station to see the camel, like just to hang out with the camel. Excuse me. It is not a gas station. It is <laughs> the Tiger Truck Stop. With a camel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make no sense. It should be the camel truck stop. But I guess you ain't got to make sense when you're in Louisiana. <laughs> But he had a wild encounter with one visitor, according to the Iberville Parish Sheriff's Deputy Report. A Florida woman, 68-year-old Gloria Lancaster, was chasing after her hearing-impaired dog when she followed it into the camel's enclosure. Can't, you, can't, you can't make this stuff up. She said she was chasing after her hearing-impaired dog. <laughs> <laughs> what? The Florida woman crawled past a barbed wire fence to try and get the dog when the camel sat on her to protect himself and she bit him to break free. But why was that her first reaction? Like, to... <laughs> to go underneath <laughs> the barbed wire? Or, 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 to, or to bite the camel's oh, testicle? Oh, and to go underneath the barbed wire. Like, she must really love this dog. That's what I'm saying. Dog because... is a man's best friend because y'all wouldn't be doing this for no cats. Why was that her first instinct, though? Like, she she could have kicked it. Like, she could have, like, hit it I mean, when the a, eye. Or, I mean, when I a 600-pound camel is sitting on top of you, desperate times call for desperate measures, like biting on his testicles. As Foghorn Leghorn so eloquently put it. The camel wasn't hurt in the incident. I think the female was transported to the uh, hospital. <laughs> has she ever done that to a human being? That's what I want to know. I think she has experience. Oh, okay. So you think you think that's her go-to whenever she's in an emergency yeah. situation, going to bite the testicles? Yeah. What What is a 600-pound camel doing in Louisiana? <laughs> exactly. Just hanging out. Aren't there laws for that type of thing? And in another incident of man versus wild, a woman at the Bronx Zoo proceeded to jump into the lion area and dance and taunt the lion. Watch as the unidentified woman, already on the inside of the lion enclosure fence, waves at the giant animal. Then, as the lion stands still, glaring at her, she dances, seemingly carefree, just feet away across a small moat. There was a woman who thought it was a good idea to go dancing with lions, and I'm wondering what the hell she was thinking. What was she, like, I like how she was, like, waving at the lion, like, hey. <laughs> What is that? And what was your initial reaction? That she was dumb. Why would you jump in with a wild animal? Yeah, I love this one's reaction. It's like, what was your initial reaction? She was dumb. <laughs> Sophia Shiometta says she knows better. I think it was kind of ridiculous that somebody would actually do that because they can die. <laughs> yeah, they can die. Yeah, and that lion looked real hungry. So. Yeah, that lion was like, are you really trying to test me right now? <laughs> So I can't go after you because if I go after you, then they're going to kill me. So that's a smart line. He knew. He knew. He's like, dang, you looking real delicious, but nah, it ain't worth my life. We're told the woman was escorted out of the park and the lion exhibit remains open. Where was her family, though? That's what yeah, I Yeah, Yeah, where were her friends? Like, yo, like, that's not a good with? idea. At this exhibit, um, there's low walls. Wait, what? Wait, there's no fence? There is that moat, a narrow little river of water that separates the lion from the grassy area in front of the fence. Barriers and rules are in place to keep both visitors, staff, and animals safe. What you mean you got barriers, bro? You got a three-foot fence and a quarter-inch moat? How's that gonna how's that gonna stop anything? No. That lion's about to jump over the moat and bro, the fence. Bro, <laughs> a lion can jump on a two-story house. You think like a three-foot little fence is gonna help? Like, I don't know how they do with zoos in New York, but in LA, we actually have actual barriers. Like, that that was not a barrier. I wonder if that was, <laughs> was that her plan all along when she arrived to the zoo? Like, yeah, I'm gonna go, go dance the lion. with the lions. New York, stop it. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. The viral victory of the week goes to the Subway Soprano. So there was a homeless lady who is an amazing opera singer. Um, she's trained in many instruments. And she went viral after an LAPD officer discovered her in the LA Metro subway in K-Town. Oh my God, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> Dang, Hold on. that was... I know that was beautiful, but like I had to take a moment to see, like, yo, she she was in the zone, but then she was like, hold up, hold up, let me not miss my train, hold up, hold up, was that is that, is that, is that the purple, is it the purple going to Union Station?
<laughs> she said, oh, no. <laughs> she was like, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, I, I, I know I'm trying to go viral, but hold on, I got to catch my train, homie. I need to catch this train. This is the last one of the night, bro. <laughs> Good news for Emily is Amorica. She already has been offered a record deal. She's already been offered like twenty thousand dollars in donations. So yeah, man, th th things are looking up. Hey yo, but all you aspiring singers, don't get no ideas. I right? don't be going down the metro, turning this into a damn I'm Apollo live with Apollo situation. I right? we ain't we ain't doing that here. We ain't turning to the New York metro system. Sometimes peace and quiet is a good medication. Everyone's going to be like, yo, can I go viral too? Thanks for watching the latest episode of Pick and Pop. It's your boy MJ with Jewels. Yeah. Woo! Make sure to share, like, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Till next time, Lego.